let's go all right so what's up guys um really want to appreciate everyone that has um, subscribed to my channel and as this subscribing um, without you guys I wouldn't be doing this so um, today someone has asked a question and it's still something I had wanted to do for a while now so I'll just get into it real quick so <laughs> Imagine you are um, contracted by a client and they want you to, you know, animate an image like this. This is the image they have given to you and they want you to, you know, put a little bit of motion to it. And you are a Moho Studio user. So how would you do this? You can do this in two ways, actually. You can either use bones or you can use your mesh. So the first method I'll be showing you is using your bones. Really simple and easy. So what you will do at first is you will bone up this character and just move it. Simple. I will send this to Photoshop. So in Photoshop, we'll be removing the background real quickly. So we have our image here. And the next thing we'll do here is we'll go to this tool here and we'll click and delete and you can see our background is out already and delete and delete wherever we have the white background on the image we delete to remove and there we have our plain background so we'll save it as png and this is what we'll, we we will be creating a simple animation for so the idea is for an image like this you just want a very very simple um, motion on the image not something too complex all right something very simple i think i should save this on the desktop so okay so the first thing you need to do is drag the image and drop it into moho studio after you have removed the background and the next thing you need to do is just as you create um just as you bone vectors in moho studio is the same way you will bone the image in moho studio all you have to do is create a group put the image layer into the group and then create a bone and add bones to the image from there you are good to go so we'll just do that real quick group with selection and convert to bone all right and you can see our bone tools have appeared here and the next thing we will do is add a bone so you could see the way i'm adding the bones right now i'm adding the first parent bone and i'll add a child bone to it so that this parent bone will not just control the whole image at the same time then from there i will add probably a chest bone since we have just a chest then i add a neck bone then i add a head bone all right then from there i'll hold alt then the chest bone i'll add a shoulder here then the hand then from here also i'll add a little bone here and probably drag this one down or you know it, it all depends on the way you want it and i'll drag this here and i'll add another bone here also all right and i can also add bones to the hair if i want also so i'll hold alt here and i'll probably add a bone here like this something like this and i'll hold i think i should just continue that like this like this like this like this like this and um yeah i think it's all it's all right so from there i'll highlight all the bones and use my bone strength and reduce the strength of the bones to let's say one and we are done so from here we could start manipulating the bones and create an animation as we want whatever animation we want so if you notice the way i had created the first parent and child bone this is what we have here this one is the parent bone that moves the whole character and this is the child bone that controls the other part so you could see it's not controlling the character itself all right so if i had added this one to the character itself i wouldn't be able to move this one on its own like this all right so with this now you have seen um, a couple of memes and simple animations or, or gifs or gifs rather that uh, are being animated on the internet so these are the way they are created you have a great illustration and you just you know create simple 
um, animation to you know make it interesting for people to to look at or watch or whatever um, thing you want to use it for so this is how you probably animate it and let it work for you so yours is just to go ahead and add really simple animation all you have to do is just make sure that the animation is not warping the whole file because you know the whole file is joined together and you don't have something that is warping so normally what I'll do is go to animation add keyframe yes and the next thing to do is I'll go a couple of frames forward maybe by frame 12 then maybe shrug the head a bit like this and make that a bit glaring then I'll take a look at the the hair part probably straighten it down a bit shrug the shoulders a little bit you know so we have something like this all right so you could see the motion depending on depending on the animation you want to create that's just it but the first thing you need to do is just create a simple um, animation for your character and probably maybe make the hand move but if you, if you see this hand now you could see how the face warps right here and this is not probably what you want though but you can just make that really simple let's zoom in here let's just make a little shrug here something like that so you have something like this all right and you can put this in repeat so let's copy that ctrl c ctrl v and when you look at your animation here you now have something like this so pretty basic and pretty simple but the only thing you can't do here is you can't really blink the eyes at at, at most you can't blink the eyes or uh, make the lips move but if you add a little bone to the lips as the way I have added some bones here you can also you know just shrug the lips a bit but you could see the whole image is warping so the next thing I want to show you is instead of using bones you can actually use the mesh tool in Moho Studio to actually um, make this animation work perfectly well the way you want it to work all right so let's go into that real quickly okay so after deleting the bones and set, setting up your character like this the first thing you want to do is make sure you have an extra layer and that layer you call it mesh yeah then you put them in a group as usual so group with selection right here all right then you can call that whatever you want let's maybe just call it girl All right, so you have this and the next thing for you to do now is to create you go to the mesh here and you now you now quickly draw um, trace out the character by adding points to it and adding points to wherever part you know you would love to you know animate and make and create a motion for so we'll do that real quickly so something like this I'll be really fast so I don't waste um, so much time so So I have to undo that. Let me zoom in a bit here so that I get this correctly. <laughs> All right. So we have this the curvy part of the hair. So I'll just take it like that and um, like this, like this. So these points that I'm adding, this is where I want to make sure I want to be able to move most of all these parts but if you don't want a part to be moved you probably may not want um, to add points but it's always best you add points to the whole um, character So we have this and I'll go into the face right now because I want to be able to move the eyebrows and the eyes a bit. So I'll quickly add some points there just on the eyebrows like this. 
you and you do this for both eyebrows okay I'm going to do this here also let me bring that out so it doesn't join with that part of the face so I'll adjust it real quickly let me select that and I'll bring this in here like this maybe control P to make it pointy cancel that real quickly all right so I can just go to draw and make it peak instead of struggling with my keyboard all right so we have this here like this and also now we can do the same for the eyes and you can you can also do this for a full picture not just um, not just an image like this not not a vector image not just for a vector image I mean I mean rather <laughs> So we'll do this for the eyes also like this and we'll do for the second part of the eye like this and bring that out here and uh, just select and make this point pointy so select it and I'll drag it onto this point so we have something like this all right and also make this place peak and here peak and we can do we can do the same for the nose also Let me probably bring it out with the face. Uh, for this tutorial sake, I'll just draw the whole line and um, maybe make it join somewhere here. Okay. So, and I'm going to add a mesh to that also. So I'll fill in that part also. All right. So we have something like this. If I turn it off, so you can see the hair is separate from the face and all this part. So after this has been done, the next thing for you to do is you go to your draw. When you go to draw, you see triangulate 2D mesh. So that's what you have to click. All right. So now you could see the triangulation has just happened and everything here is triangulated. So what does this mean? This means we can move certain points on this character, but you could see how wide all these are. So we need more points so that we can shift a whole lot of parts in the character. So I'll just quickly undo that ctrl z then i'll go in and probably you know add my own simple triangulation something like this so that when it triangulates i have more things to play with or more parts of the character to play with to shift around so on and so forth the way you want all right so this is just something you try to keep in mind when you are um, using this um, mesh tool to create um, your animation for your character all right so I'm going to do this here like this and probably join this here and here and here and here and you know uh, let's say here and maybe here okay so the more points you have the better for you and sometimes depending on the character or depending on the type of animation you are trying to create the less points you have the better for you also so that's what that is why i say there's no rule to meshing of your images but all you have to do is just know what you are doing or how you want the animation to look at the end of the day so i think that is okay so i'll just triangulate the 2d mesh right now so you could see it's much more um better at this point so the next thing for me to do is go to my image 
character because right now i can't move if you notice if i go to the mesh i can't really move the character all right if i bring it in the character is not actually moving let me bring it to the top so you know and if i click the mesh you can see i'm only moving the mesh not with the character the character is not actually moving as i want it to move so the next thing i'll do here is double click on the image go to image then you come down here to smart wire player then you choose mesh you remember the mesh layer this one that's what you will choose and you hit apply and okay all right so you have that already and the next thing for you to do is move to frame one you can't m animate anything at frame zero on the mesh so you have to because at frame zero nothing will move if we try it here like this you wouldn't see anything but at frame one or any other frame apart from frame zero you will see you have your mesh working beautifully okay i hope that makes sense all right so you can see with this now we can actually create an animation for this um, character the way we want the, you can move all these points all these parts as as much as you want them to move so you can see what we have done for the eyes you can actually make the eyes blink by moving all these points like this okay and we have this one here like this also so you can see you have actually made the eye to blink so let's adjust the nose point also right here so if we render that out so you can see your image is blinking all right so you can actually now use this to create whatever animation you want so let's just do let me copy this blink and put it further and I'll delete this one here so we can have our eye blinking so you could see the animation I had added before is still there so we have this all right so you can use this to create whatever thing you want to create depending on the animation you are you are going in for okay so if we move this to this point this is what we have so this point is the animation the points i had shifted initially that is why they are all moving but if you had not shift if i had not shifted that point before it wouldn't move okay so this is the way you use mesh to create um animation for an image all right so but you have to be very careful the way you are using the mesh to you know create to animate so that it doesn't look um weird and funny during your animation i think that's the only part and that's the part you really can't teach but you just have to use your um common sense to create better animation as you anime but knowing how to do this will help you create simple gaming even for nfts you can actually use this for nfts and create simple motion nfts that you can actually sell i hope this is really helpful um for those out there that want to animate simple images for games and whatever thing you want to do and if you love what i have shown you give me a thumbs up and do subscribe and see ya in the next video ciao